The rain came down hard Wednesday morning at Foxborough for the New England Patriots joint practice with the New Orleans Saints. The sideways rain didn't stop Julian Edelman from returning to the field. A day after tweaking his foot in practice and violently spiking his helmet in frustration, the Pats' number one receiver was back on the field wearing shorts and shells, catching passes and even leaving his feet cleanly. The return confirms that Edelman's injury wasn't serious, which NFL media insider Ian Rapoport and NFL media's Mike Garifa reported Tuesday. The receiver underwent off-season surgery on his left foot. That the Patriots were comfortable with Edelman returning a day after leaving practice early, especially in the rain, speaks volumes about his health. We needn't worry that Tuesday's injury will keep the team's top wide out off the field to start the season. New England, you can breathe that sigh of relief. Here are other injuries that we are monitoring on Wednesday. 1. Victor Cruz is back on the sidelines. After straining his calf on Tuesday, the Giants wide receiver sat out practice. Cruz told reporters that he was doing good and his groin was better, read into that what you will. He later said on WEPN-FM in New York that he anticipates returning to the practice field in a few days. Cruz is in the midst of a comeback from separate patar tendon and calf injuries in 2014 and 2015, respectively, so it's unlikely that the Giants will push their former star wide out to play in their preseason opener on Friday. 2. Dolphins coach Adam Gage said running back Arian Foster won't play in Friday's preseason opener against the New York Giants. Foster came off the physically unable to perform list on July 31 as he finalized his recovery from a torn Achilles tendon. 3. Jimmy Graham has taken the field for the first time this year. The Seahawks tight end dressed in his pads and helmet Wednesday in his first action since being placed on the pup list to start camp. Graham suffered a season-ending patar tendon injury in Week 10 last season. 4. The Bills are not optimistic about Reggie Raglan returning to the field in 2016. Buffalo's rookie linebacker has suffered a torn ACL and is expected to undergo surgery tomorrow. The Bills released a statement confirming that they expect him to miss his entire debut season. 5. The Browns have moved fourth-round rookie tight end Seth DeValve, hamstring, off of the pup list. 6. Chiefs general manager John Dorsey told ESPN running back John Ale Charles and outside linebacker Tamba Holly, who haven't practiced yet in training camp, would be ready to play in the season opener. Dorsey said the two are expected to return to practice within the next two weeks. 7. Seahawks defensive tackle Jaron Reed went down awkwardly in practice Wednesday and was carted off the field. 8. Steve Johnson's future is up in the air. But NFL media insider Ian Rapoport reported that the Chargers wide receiver's knee surgery went well and that a determination on his season will be made this week. Johnson suffered a torn meniscus during a July 31st practice. 9. Coach Jason Garrett said Cowboys running back Darren McFadden is progressing well in his rehab from his elbow injury, but the veteran won't be ready to practice or play anytime real soon.